Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Abdul Karim, and today, today I'm urging each and every one of you, I'm urging you, please, for the sake of your soul, I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to your soul, for the sake of your soul, do kindness. You know, a lot of us, we go about, out and about in life, and we act to other people kind, we give them a smile, you know, we show them respect. But then when we come home, we don't show our families, our loved ones, those closest to us, respect. We, we show them anger, we show them our dark side, because brothers and sisters, we all have a dark side. But if you come home and unleash your dark side upon those you love, if they're living in fear, then what? What will you say on the day of recompense when you come before your maker and your maker turns to you and he says, you were kind outside the house, yet your family lived in fear. What would you say to your maker? What would be your excuse then? I tell you, you will not have an excuse on the day of recompense. You know, we're all gonna die. I, I know we don't like to hear it. It scares us, this, this, this impending thing that's after all of us. It, it's the shadow behind us that we've spent our life running from. We run from death out of fear of the beyond. But I'm urging each and every one of you, the beyond will come to us one day. There will be a day when we're standing in front of our maker with the book of our life in front of us. The book with our deeds, the honest recount of our deeds, the deeds that we cannot shy away from. And on that day, what will you say if you made people fear you in your own home? Brothers and sisters, be kind for the sake of your soul. You know, it's okay to be angry, it's a natural state, but do not take that anger out on people. You need to seek a therapist for the sake of your soul. People don't realize this, but I'm, I'm talking to your soul. I'm, I'm asking your soul to salvate itself, to bring itself towards salvation. I want each and every one of my viewers to come to Jannah. I want them to be hanging out in Jannah. And I want you guys to remember me telling you to come to goodness because Jannah is the ultimate attainment. It is a sign of faith in our Maker that we are saying, Allah, we believe in you. We believe that there is an afterlife. And we believe that if you grant us your mercy, we will attain this goal. So I'm urging each and every one of you, show kindness in your house. Make your loved ones feel loved. Do not be a terror. Do not hit your children willy-nilly. Do not make them live in fear of you. Do not make them think, Oh, it's five o'clock. Papa is coming home. Uh, I better hide. I better stay out of sight. Because Papa will beat me. Beat me for what? I don't even know. You know, if your child tells you the truth, I'm telling you this now. If your child did something wrong and they tell you the truth, they admit to you that yes, Papa, yes, Mama, I did this thing. It is better to forgive them purely because telling the truth is more rewarding than lying and saying, what's it me? It wasn't me. And you know, you know when a child lies. They got that look, you know? They, they get that look and you know when they're lying. It is better to, to get them to tell the truth and to let them off than to punish them for, for telling the truth, which gives them the impression that what's the reason I should tell the truth? I'm going to get punished anyway. And it is a sign that you are trusting your maker by being merciful to this person. I mean, how can you expect Allah, the most mighty, the most merciful, to show you mercy when you didn't show others mercy? So I'm urging each and every one of you, be kind, not just on the outside, but on the inside too. Be kind to your family, be kind to yourself. You know, a lot of us Muslims, we feel it's just to torture ourselves. You know, we feel it's just to 
push ourselves and to really unless we're unless we're unhappy with not doing it right I don't know what this is I don't know where this mentality has come from you're allowed to be happy you're allowed to make your family happy you're allowed to be happy just don't make happiness the the goal of life happiness is a part of life it is an important part of life because without it you become grouchy you become violent and you also become a tool of the shayateen of iblis brothers and sisters for the sake of your soul please mercy kindness let this be your deen let this be your remembrance let this be what people know you for is the man who made others happy the man who made his family happy it is better for your soul and now I'm talking to you for the sake of your soul please come to goodness remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and come come to goodness